Hey, what is up guys? So, last time, we actually created um, these little panels down here that we used to display information on uh, what was the best time for this level. In this episode, we're gonna lock the second level if the first one isn't completed. And about my voice, sorry about that, I'm kind of recovering from a cold right now, so I really wanted to get this video out there, so I'm doing it anyway. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy, so let's go ahead and do that. So it is fairly simple, all we have to do is open up the main menu, and we are going to quit and inside of that we are going to go um, where we spawn our thumbnails so around here in this function we're gonna go ahead and check is uh, the best time zero if that's the case then the next thumbnail is going to be locked so we're gonna keep track of a um, private field up here let's go ahead and make a private bool next level locked is equal to false alright so with that field let's go down here in the um, thumbnail and we're gonna do if level dot best time is equal equal to 0, 0.0f so that means if we have not completed this level let's go ahead and say next level lock is now equal to true and we're gonna leave it true for the rest um, of this for each. Now just above that we need to go ahead and just put some modification in here so um, what we could do, what I feel like doing is actually changing the prefab again so I can have a overlay on top of the button that says um, something like locked. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, I'm just leaving some space here but I'm gonna go back in the game let's um, make sure that the game is stopped and I am going to go in my prefab folder drag and drop a level button prefab in the level button container okay so now that we have our prefab what I felt like doing is adding another overlay on top of that so whenever it is locked I am going to see another panel on top of my button in my thumbnail that's going to have say um, a question mark on it or something of the sort alright so to do that, it's fairly simple, it's really simple actually. We are simply going to right click on the level button prefab and then choose UI image. As simple as that. Now we're going to make the image stretch both horizontal and vertical and then reset all the values to zero. There it is. And now I am going to change the color of that new thumbnail let's put it on something like a small red like that and also make sure that you uh, lower the alpha value that's really important so like this okay and this is going to be the uh, locked overlay of something of the sort so I'll just type in locked now another important thing is that you have to save your prefab so go ahead and select your level button prefab and then hit apply if we press play on this and then we go to level selection as you can see we now have a red overlay on top of our thumbnail um, and what we're gonna do is actually turn this off if the level is unlocked so to do that let's go back in our code and over here right above the um, the check where we check is the, is the next level unlock alright so back in our code now what we're gonna do is get that um, locked image and we're gonna turn it off as simple as that so we're gonna do container dot transform dot get child at the index one now we're using get child at the index one because locked is the second children in the level button prefab so um, if these two was, were inverse then make sure that you also put the changes in your code alright now we're getting that child after that we're gonna do get component image so we're getting the image of that and we're gonna do that enabled is equal to next level locked so next level locked is false is always false until we hit a level that hasn't been completed now if we read this code the first one the first thumbnail cannot ever be locked because we're doing the check after we're setting the image so this should actually work just fine alright so let's go ahead and remove that prefab make sure that you apply uh, your changes before that so apply 
and then let's go ahead and remove that press play go inside of the level selection and as you can see this one is not locked because that's the first one and the second one isn't locked either because well uh, we finished the first one so this one is also unlocked now to test it out I'll go ahead and remove um, the data for that level so I'll just remove that then press play once more the first level should be unlocked but the second one as you can see has a red overlay on top of it okay so now this one is technically locked but if we click on it we're still uh, sent to the scene in this case it doesn't work because we don't have a second scene but we're still getting the action and we need to get rid of that so basically what we're gonna do is um, over here right after doing that call we're gonna say we're gonna say container dot get component again and we're gonna get the button component this time and then inside of that button component there is a property called interactable so we're gonna do uh, interactable is equal to next level lock uh, I mean not next level lock so make sure you put the exclamation mark in front of it okay now let's press play once more level selection and I can't click on this guy so that means the level is locked. Now if I go ahead and complete the first one like this as you can see we can now access this guy. So guys that's pretty much it. I know this was a short video but my voice is kind of uh, letting me down right now but I really wanted to release something today so I hope you guys enjoy. If this was helpful please leave me a like. I really appreciate that. If you have any question or comment please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Other than that, if you want more tutorial like these, go ahead and subscribe, and I will be seeing you in the next episode.